up YouTube mini hops here. I was kind of looking cool for a second. Now I just kind of look awkward. So I'm just going to, yeah. All right. Serious moment. <laughs> what up? Okay, that's awesome. My beer and water just spilled at the same time. Not even buy it. Brian, I blame you. Okay, because, all right, this is what we're talking about. Ugh, fuck me, man. Dude, I was nowhere near this shit. All right. This is Uncle Brian, you guys. My BFF, he died Christmas morning-ish. Uh, what's weird about this picture? Him and then me. Like, first of all, why does my makeup look so weird? Second of all, I was having a Jersey Shore phase. Um, I was dating a junkie at the time who did heroin. I mean... You know, like, this was my 30th birthday, guys. <laughs> my 30th birthday. I was trying to branch out. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is, Branch out. Be a new me, right? <laughs> new me, new life, right? I'm 40 years old. I'm doing the same shits. I'm still dating weirdos. All my good friends are dead. And I don't have a lick of sense. <laughs> I mean, I do, but, you know, YOLO. So, yeah. So the reason this came up is because I'm pulling my, you guys are on my little wall of hope. Well, it's going to be a new wall. Um, I told you guys, uh, I started a new job and like I didn't do anything bad, like not show up or anything like that, but I made a couple of mistakes and like now I might lose my job. So now I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> like, what do I do now? Like, and I'm like a beach bum with no beach, eh? Brian, Uncle Brian, sister-in-law, contacted me out of the blue. And it's like, it's weird when you really love people. Like, you don't have to justify it to anybody. And nobody's asking us to. But, like, everybody knows me and him are the bestest of friends anybody could have. But, um, ew, gosh dang it. At least I'm not cleaning his place anymore. Gross. Gross. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get paid enough. <laughs> you owe me, mother. But no, uh, so, dude, <clears throat> when he passed away, like, me and him were the best of his friends. We were super annoying. Like, we were super loud, took over the room. People called it the Brian Mandy show. And I'm not saying it's a good thing. Like, I'm not saying people, like, but people knew us. <laughs> it was a thing. And so, you know how many times poor Mikey, my ex-husband, would come in and we would just be plastered like. <laughs> and Brian always had this like boom, 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 like in his voice, you know, and he would be like, baby, don't treat me bad, I'll beg of you. And he would be all extra. And then I was just wasted like, yeah. And that was pretty much every time we hung out. <laughs> well, I mean, it just depends what part you came in on, right? Right, right, right. Uh, and so his sister-in-law, who I hadn't really been in contact with much in our lives, said, hey, dude, I'm coming to Vegas. Would you like some of his ashes? Like, this is a big deal, guys. This isn't sad. Uh, and shout out to the family. Here's a Mandrew story. What up? Um... This is my fuck you, Brian, and my love you, Brian, which I have to do it all at once, and that's how there's no other way to be done. I am so excited about it. Like, so, uh, Brian and I were like Elvis Snack. So, his sister in law, Regina Kath, Ed, thank you. She says, I'm coming to Vegas in August. Would you like a little Brian's ashes? And I was like, Nobody's ever asked me that about anybody's that. Mm, yeah okay so there's the one part that's like okay like gross like no I don't want anybody's like but yeah like that's my bro I can make it home like what do I do because I gotta do some fucking extra with it that's why I would want his ashes because Brian would want me to I was already gonna be the dude with the radio in Bartolino's in South County St. Louis shout out to the holding it up with the Elvis but no like Luckily, his family did that. I didn't have to make shit weird. So, and then his sister takes him to Graceland and everything, sends me all these sister-in-law's brother, sends all these awesome pictures, and I'm like, that's rad. But, you know, me and Brian, right? We gotta be a little uncouth. 
And I'm like, I ain't smoking them. Like, I ain't putting any of that in my body, near my body, not a topical. I don't even want to put it as my carry-on because I know how toxic me and Brian are. I know how we lived, honey. Like, I'm going to sprinkle you and I'm going to get one of those poison rings like they wear in Clue and wait till my enemy comes along and, be like, psh, psh, and put you in there and we're going to be like, no, seriously, I think I might put you in a poison ring. A little bit. A little bit. This is my plan. Like, I'm not even shitting you. A little in a poison ring. If I can find a poison ring, because I don't just want your ashes scattered around. That's going to give me the skeeves. And then, I always busted Brian's balls about tattoos. Brian was as wild as and crazy guy as he was, you know. He was very old school. And uh, even then, I don't think the greasers had tattoos. I don't think they did. Imagine that. <laughs> what a time. Uh, so, anyway... Um, I was like, dude, we should get matching Elvis tattoos. And I always grew up super country. And the reason I love Elvis is because my mom liked Elvis. My dad hated him. He's like, oh, it's the same movie every time. Blah, 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 blah. And then, like, all I did, because, like, I lived next to two cow farms out of three houses. Like, and we didn't have cable or, like, like concrete. Like, we had gravel. And so I just watched the same movies over and over. G.I. Blues and, um... So, hence, me and Brian's world collide. Weirdos, right? Weirdos? Okay. And we love it. And so, I remember going to the Museum of Transportation, like, in eighth grade. And there was these, like, red ropes, right? I'd never seen, like, real red ropes. <laughs> well, I did at, like, this little Hoosier theater on Main Street. But who's counting? And uh, there were Elvis's Cadillacs, right? And it said, do not touch, <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, to this day, like, don't have that sign around me. I, I have fucking issues. I ran under the red ropes and I had, I touched it because I was like, oh, it's all this is. Because this is like what I grew up on, like VHS, like just nothing but country living, like GI blues, all that. Yeah, weirdo. And so I remember it had the emblem, TCB, with the little lightning bolt engraved in it. And I've always thought about getting that tattoo since, like, years like I would say at least over 10 years ago and I said Brian we should get it together meanwhile okay stay with me guys I have a best buddy Brian Prather I'm not going to give him a nickname he is one of my oldest friends we made friends at Red Lobster I love him he lived here that's how I wound up in the infamous Hell's Angels house right I inherited it through him if not I would have not made my Vegas life would have not met my landlord sean and god god only knows what we would have not done okay we would we used to always joke about coming out to vegas and i used to always like let's get work and go and like then we both wound up living here right he's kind of turned into more of a hippie order but that being said shh, nobody cares there was a tgi fridays in south county in st louis at 314 that's when tgi fridays was like a thing it was a thing. Uh, people would line up on Fridays and Mondays and Thursdays, two hours back to get into TGI Fridays, right? It was a whole vibe. Like this was before pagers, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Don't lose me, kids. Stick in. Do, 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 do. All right. So Brian and I are belligerent trunks, but like I handle myself better than Brian for now. When I reach his age, if I reach his age, watch out. I don't know what you're gonna get. <sighs> All right. So anyway, it was brunch and Brian, all he can remember, which is more than he remembered our whole friendship about anything of anything. He's, he was talking with the guy who was like from fucking Britain or something. My friend Brian that I met, <laughs> <laughs> me and him are best friends uh was a server right we met him and uh so brian was up there and they were taking shots and he got up to pee and there was like a little gold stand do you guys know how tgi fridays are lined? there's like a bar up top and when he went like this <laughs> brian's like oh and brian was a big boy dude vicky lynn likes to call me 250 i'll have you know i am 220 or under it's six foot still looking good but anyway double that double that Full of drunken fun and just <sighs> and went boosh. And my uncle Brian, my best friend, landed face back on a family of four <laughs> eating their Sunday breakfast at TGI Fridays. Uh they don't talk about it anymore, but I would say up until like 
this is pretty good considering it happened like over 20 years ago. Up until like maybe seven years ago, they talked about it. They talked about it. People were still talking about it. Legend. Immortal. So, um, that's Brian. And so we were always friends of each other, Brian, Brian, and me, right? We all drank, like we all hung out, like it, and they were the best of, like I, uh, Brian on both sides. That's the bestest. And so Brian is one of the best, Brian Prather, the one that's alive, hello, uh, is one of the best artists I've ever encountered in my life. And I don't give out fucking fake compliments. And he's funny. And I'll slap the shit out of that dude, but I love him. And uh, his tattoos are a little, you know, I'm <laughs> a little cringy, as are my YouTube videos. But that being said, he's like family. That being said, Brian loved him. That being said... Long story short, not short at all. What the fuck am I going to do with Uncle Brian's ashes? I'm going to tattoo him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the TCB with the lightning bolt. So I reached out and I said, hey, Brian. I told him the whole deal. You, you heard it yet. The whole jest. I said, Brian, I always liked you. I liked you. I think your tattoos are shit. But how bad could you fuck up a lightning bolt in TCB? And if he does, then <laughs> it's meant to be... It's meant to be like, it's, it's a thing. It's a vibe. So I don't know if he wants to take it on. I don't know if he doesn't. Anybody in Vegas will take it on. They're like, oh, you want blood in there? And like nine dead ladies and a rat? Let's do it. $60. Shine like a diamond in the sky. Plus there's this dude, Chino. Not to talk on Chino. Like Chino is the shit. I really want to get a Las Vegas tattoo from him. As I get older, I am like, I almost get one tattoo a year if that and I'm like, God, dude, I don't even want to know what my skin's going to do. I'm fucking, I'll die for all that, you know. Somebody used to say to me once, uh, dude, what happens when you get 70 years old and you got all those tattoos on you? That's what they said. And I said, let me tell you some lady, sir, whoever the fuck just said that stupid shit to me. Have you ever had a 70-year-old person get talked about and say, you know what? She'd be fly as fuck if she didn't have that tattoo. Mm -mm -mm. Buffet. No, like, no, it doesn't happen. It does not happen. Like, that's not a thing. Go fuck yourself. Do you guys know that Marshall Grouch? 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 I can't say his name right. Marshall Grouch was completely covered in tattoos. Like, full body tattoo. That was when, like, you were a freak to do that. And he had a suit. He had the cute little glasses. Silent, you know. I don't know where I'm going with this is me and Uncle Brian are getting tattoos whether he likes it or not, baby. That's your Mander story for the day. Brian's going to do it. If Brian doesn't do it, Chino or some other good chap will. You know, Chino probably doesn't even have to fuck with it. Chino's so good, he's probably like, yeah, I'm not going to fuck with all that weirdo Missouri shit. But we're going to get tatted up. I don't care if some flies out the window. I don't want them uh, scattered around my apartment. It's fucking weird. God. Hard enough to keep things clean around here. But anyway, I love you guys. Shout out and I'll keep you posted. Deuces. Take care of business. Yeah.